Welcome back to the Zaya Beers, Zaya Locked Group Iron Man. I'm Schooner. This is Mitty. Today we are heading into the chambers of Zerik, baby. We've both been grinding the Lizardman Shaman for the Dragon Warhammer, and we don't have it yet. But I don't care, because it's time to take on the Great Olm. Just chilling. Been sitting here for hours. I have bought so many Chaos Runes. I have chewed through 45,000-ish Fire Runes, meaning casting this uh, Firebolt over 10,000 times. Slowly building up the Red Dragon Hides for Midi. Really trying to get him that crafting level to get the Black Dragon Hide. But with this level here, I think that even without the Black Dragon Hide Chaps, it is time to move into the chambers of Zarek with Midi. May as well send it, give it a go, explore a bit. Midi's never been in there. And so, yeah, I think it's going to be a bloody excellent adventure. But I did say something was more achievable than the crafting level. Before I entered chambers, I wanted to have base 80 stats combat-wise. And we are just about to hit 80 magic. So let's grab ourselves the second to last dragon hide and bones here. Obviously, we've been offering the bones onto the sacred bone burner over there. And we actually hit 71 prayer through that, so that's bloody good. Here we go. Couple more casts. Give us the magic level, baby. Yes! 80 magic! Oh, I love that. We can wield the Kodai Wand. Perfect timing for when we get an insignia from raids. Hmm, not that we can even get the Master Wand, but 80 magic. Boy, am I happy with that. How good! A crafting method, and I decided, why not? I've got 99 thieving. Let's do some stone chests for an hour and see how they go. So, as you can see here, Midi has been busy. He's been doing his crafting via thieving. He's been doing this in-game and IRL. 460, uh, 17 rubies, 22 sapphires, and 116 Zarakian fabric. Pretty handy for the crafting girls. How good! 100 thieving! How good! There we go, 79 crafting! Only 3 levels to go! How good! Here we go, time to use that 99 thieving! Zarek's tally! How good! Ah yes, there you are. Hello, mate! Hello, mate! <laughs> How you going? Yeah, bloody good. I've just got a little present for you, mate. Yeah, well, in the group, or...? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna trade. trade me. Here you go. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> yes, good green Not cash sack! Not today, Zerg. <laughs> no, no, no. I will try give up. What? what? Ooh, ah, what? What could that be for? Mmm, I don't know. Ooh. Use it as you wish, mate. Oh, I would like to take that. Thank you, mate. No worries. You know what we could spend this on? We could finally buy our skill capes. Ah, how stone chest. <laughs> yeah, I think it's an exception that we didn't even think we were ever going to need to make. And then we were like, oh yeah, no, we deserve a skill cape, come on now. And we've been rocking these bloody orange capes for the longest time. They have been looking good. Mark. They have been. I think we are deserving of an upgrade. Absolutely. So, Absolutely agree. You've, so you've got to go to Berthorpe then. Yep. And I've got to go to uh, Sears Village, I think. He is old, mate. Uh, here he is. Martin Thwaite. Ah, yes. I've got Ignatius Vulcan. Mm. Give us a skill cape of fire making, mate. Oh, yes! I still technically have an orange cape. Oh, that's oh, so yes. good. That's Yasser Arafat. Oh, first 99, mate, too. 
Mm, yeah, first one ever, yep. Oh, how good. Yeah, that is looking premium. And the stats compared to our old cape are literally like nine times better. Mm. I think we'll be enjoying that defense bonus today when we go to Chambers of Zerek. Bloody oath. Oh, that looks so good. All right, I'm coming back to Zaya. I'll meet you out there. And you can show me your new emote with the cape. Oh, yeah, I haven't even done the emote. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, all right, I'm back in... Back in Zaya. Oh, that's good! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't... I can't remember what the thieving one is. You'll have to come show me. Just being a little sneaky bastard. <laughs> Look at us, mate. We are looking premium. No, fire maker looks good too. And you're keeping the orange trend. That's good. Cool. Yeah. Oh, we, mate. That looks good. Are you ready? Yeah. Show us the show us the emote. Oh yes, good little coins in the backpack. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, we'll have a geese at mine. Oh yeah, good little fire making. Mm. Yeah, what am I? Yeah, don't bloody... mind that. I'm a magician. Just making fire. Yeah, yeah, no, look, buddy, look at good. Oh, that I'm is. Thinking yeah, that is so good. That's definitely worthy of a hair. Good. Hair. Good. I'll freeze frame here while we have the cudgel equipped, that beautiful cudgel, and our combat bracelet. It doesn't matter what else we're wearing, as our only offensive melee gear on the account is the combat bracelet and cudgel, while Midi's got his dragon sword. That's it. Obviously the glory, but we'll have that on at all times as well. But, yeah, that's pretty bad. Let's see if that comes into play when it comes to the old melee hand. Hmm. What you're looking at here is our best in slot mage gear for the Chambers of Zerik. You are seeing our Zerikian hat and robe. Amulet of Glory, our new skill cape, Mystic Air Staff, Tome of Fire, Mystic Bottom, Mystic Gloves, Mystic Boots. The ring doesn't matter. We're using a ring of wealth for everything. That is our best in slot. For our first raid, we chose to use Fire Wave on the normal spellbook as we'd get a damage bonus from the Tome of Fire. Excellent plan. Our highest DPS when it comes to magic. But let's see what happened once we entered the raid. Now you'll notice with using Fire Wave. I am the one using Fire Wave. I'm going to be running the Mage Hand of Olm, while Midi is going to be attacking the Melee Hand and on the Arceus Spellbook to use Thralls. I thought we would have been alright with only one of us using Thralls. Two would have definitely been better, and we'll see how that pans out in the raid. I must preface this as well. I, Schooner, have only ever done two duos and seven solos of Chambers. And they were not great solos. I still die at Ulm. So feel free to leave us any tips in the comments. Even since the recording of this video, I have done more raids and we've gotten way better. But this was our first go and it's worth watching to see what can go wrong, what did go wrong, and <laughs> have a good laugh along the way. And freezing frame there, we simply swap to our rune crossbow and our black dragonhide van braces, and that gives us a pretty decent ranged bonus for the chambers. And range is pretty much only used in some of the rooms leading up to Ulm, and the final head phase of Ulm, which once you get there, just gotta whittle it down, it'll eventually get there. Hello mate. Hello mate. Alright, and then we got a bank chest here so we can get our potions and shit out. For the recording, because, you know, I didn't record me searching for raids then. We've been searching for fucking ages. And yeah. genuinely tough time. scenes to try and find one we can actually do. We don't want to do Tecton. We don't want to do anything starting with a V. Vanguards we're going to attempt, I reckon we can do in the future. But, mm -hmm. yeah. And we're trying to avoid Mudadiles as well. But Mudadiles are just glued to us. Like, I cannot not get Mudadiles. And yeah. it's the first At room least... in the list. At least they're the first one, we'll get the hard one out of the way early. Yeah, we'll knock it out. The rest of them we can do. And yeah, we're just going to have to push through and do our best. So, And it's good for a laugh. So, Mudadiles was our first room. Midi was pretty nervous, so we caught some bats to make ourselves feel better so we'd have lots of food. 
We knew we were going to die a shitload at all. Points didn't mean much to us, so who cares if we die? You just respawn. It's not like at the fire giants. Hmm. Chop, 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 chop. And the big one will attack us with magic occasionally while we're here, but we can't do shit about it. Yes, good chopping. We're chopping big. Okay, now the thing's chomping us, so I'm going to swap to pray magic. Uh, sorry, pray uh, melee. Yeah, it's focusing you hard. Oh, well, that's all right. I came in first. All right, now it's hitting me. Oh, that's a big mag magic hit. <laughs> oh, the Mernbats um, heal 20 HP. That's great. Yeah, that's why I was saying. Go more Mernbats, yeah. All right, we're almost done with the tree, mate. Oh, shit. We're almost done with the tree. How good are we? Right. Now it's attacking ranged, so it's swapped to prey ranged. I'm prey ranged already, yeah. Yep, yeah, nice. The tree's down, yep. Nice, all right. Now let's just kill this little baby. Jesus. <laughs> yes, focusing your pity. <laughs> oh, that's a big chomp. You dirty. dirty this is good. Bastard. It's definitely getting moose, though. Oh, mate, simple game. I oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep running away from it so it uses range. Yeah, I'm I'm I want to pick up these diamond bolts as well. I'm terrified of losing them all. Picking them up. Okay, when, so after we kill this, run to the spot that I run to. Yep. It's almost dead. It is almost dead. Yes, it's dead. All right, run over here, right to this corner with me. Wield the ru ru wield ruby bolts and start attacking yep. the big dog. Hopefully, the screamers come in big. I'm on 17. A 70, yes. Okay, now that it's here, we want to run. Oh, I just got chopped. Run up to the far east corner of the room, on the far wall, and then when it approaches you there and it gets in melee range, you want to run back to that spot we were just standing on, on the corner of the mall. Yeah, shit, I'm getting moosed. That's all right. If you uh, if you die, you'll respawn at the start of the raid. Yeah, and you can, Yeah, that's all good. Fuck, we did well uh, then. That was good. He does. We moosed the baby pretty quick. That was great. So, do we have to do the baby again? No. No? Uh. All you have to do now is run back to the start of the room. I want to pick up all the diamond bolts. Yeah, they'll be on the ground. They're on the ground in there. And now we just go in and the fight resumes with it at the same HP. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it doesn't regen. So much. Picking up the ruby bolts while we're going because they're precious materials. Because I don't know if they're going to despawn. That's what I'm just nervous about. Alright, so see, this is where we stand until it comes up close to us here. Oh, now it's turned on MIDI! No, MIDI! <laughs> 25, that's big. This is good. I got... I refuse to use my food, I'm saving it. We're gonna moose him. Ah! Use it, use it, use it. He's almost down! Got him! Yes! How good are we? End an elite combat task! Mudder diet. Mudder diet. Nice, mate. Yeah. Simple. Okay, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Picking up all the ruby bolts. And actually, we it's so good that we killed it because we get bruise, restores, prayer enhances, and overloads for the yeah, final sword, fight man. now. We so. take the Houndmaster's diary? diary? No, you don't need it. Diary? A diary? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and there you go. Nice, mate. This account is so much better than my main. <laughs> this is your main. Yeah. I'm oh, jumping. Oh, both there. Pretty close. I've got no. Oh, run. the poison pool. Fuck. Yeah, running out of run energy is a killer. Yeah, 
they're switching to diamonds. I mean, we should have stuck to the uh, like corners of the room and the walls because it, it's easier. They don't jump as much that way. Oh shit! Yeah, Mitty's dead. Ah, uh, you're all right, mate. No, how dare you kill my Mitty! <laughs> Okay, I've got to kill at least one, so it's easier when we come back in. Does that mean I have to kill the mud at all again? No, no, no. Oh, good. Not at all. That would be fucked. Mm. Ah, I died of poison. Yeah, I forgot my anti-poison. What am I doing? I put it in the uh, shared group. Any, any, oh, stop yeah. loot. Why am I trying to loot? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm going to die again if I'm not careful. I've got him, mate. Yeah, a mini to the rescue. He's almost deceased. One He's more. dead. Nice, mate. Good stuff. Alright, so here we've got some seeds. I'm just going to run around and pick up all these diamond belts as much as I can. Oh, fuck oath. Yeah, they, we don't want to lose them. The two big combat rooms out of the way, the Mudded Isle and the Shamans, we moved into the Crab Room. I was giving Midi a bit of a tutorial on how to do them. Uh, but it is easier with two people if he just stuns those down there. So, pretty simple game. Midi lined them up and I attacked them to make the colours change. Pretty straightforward. Now, at this point, we'd taken over 45 minutes in the raid. Uh, but we did a bit of prep at the start that I didn't show. Uh, we built the storage unit. We caught some bats. We also just went over a lot of the mechanics of the raid. Like, Midi had never been in a raid before. Uh, talked about how death works, talked about how the different floors and rooms work and things like that. Just keeping everything, you know, happy. Keeping everything above board. The Zaya Beers are getting through this raid and we're having a bloody good time. Or so we thought. Dun dun dun! Oh, here we go, mate. First room in the new area is going to be your favourite. Oh, thieving. Thieving. Yes. Stone chests. How good. Oh. No, you don't have to pray shit. We basically just need a lot of free inventory space to get a lot of worms or get a lot of grubs. So essentially you okay. just thieve the chests and you deposit them in the trough that's next to this corrupted scavenger. Okay. He'll eventually eat so much that he'll go to sleep and then that's the end of the room. Oh, mate. Well, if there's one thing I'm good at... Yeah. Thieving. So I think we just start thieving. So I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll go to the south side of the room and you can do the north if you want. And then that's it. Do you use it on the trough? Yeah, I'm just going to wait till I get a... F Have you already got a full invent? Yeah. Fucking hell, yeah, right. <laughs> Guess it helps. You get 99 saving, mate. Yeah, I've only got seven. I had more points than you. I think you've just rocketed ahead of me in points thanks to the grubs. Oh, yeah, no, I've just gone ahead of you, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to contribute. Well, if there was anything I was going to be very good at, it was this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, the old mate is going to go have a kip. We are finished the thieving room, that's it. Next up we have the mystics room. These things hit pretty hard, so we took a lot of food in with us. I said, let's just kill them one at a time, Mitty. You know, we can pick up the bolts on our own time. It's all good. So, we work together, we kill the first one. How bloody good. Go to kill the second one, and he runs straight in front of me, and now they're both on us. And... But it was all right. Thanks to Midi's 90 ranged and a few diamond bolt specs here and there, we managed to get through the two mystics and we get up to our penultimate room, the Guardians, before taking on the Great Olm. We got plenty of seeds too to prepare potions and everything. And boy, oh boy, did we prepare. You'll see. Grab those seeds. I'll pick up the bolts. That wasn't super hard. No, no. I mean, it made it more difficult since we had to run to pick up the bolts and then they both aggroed us at the same time. Yeah, yeah. But, all good. I reckon we definitely need to catch some more bats, though. Yeah, there might be a fishing spot or more bats, like, because we're, we're now on the second floor. Oh, yeah, because so... we've got a fishing rod, that's right. Yeah, so we can't go back. Now, notice here that Midi and I talked about the bats and the fish. We were a bit concerned, maybe too concerned, about having food. While we see us take on the Guardians, which... I've done before, and I know how to do properly. I just was stuffing it up. Plus, my mining level was terrible. My, my clips were bad, but, you know, whatever. We get through the Guardians all right. Teach Midi how to do it, and we are flying. Let's talk, before we see the Olm fight, about some of the mistakes we made in this raid, or some of the things we realised. One is that I was unaware that 
overload minuses were a thing. I thought that there was normal overloads and overload pluses. I don't know why I didn't know this. The skill guide, it kind of confused me. And so we didn't make overloads. Huge, huge error. Did it matter in the end? Yes, but there are multiple things that mattered towards what we we're about to see. One of them is that we didn't make overloads and only had the two overloads that we got from the mud Doll. If we had overloads, I wouldn't have run into a huge problem in the Ulm fight where I had to brew my magic level down and therefore I couldn't cast Fire Wave anymore. That was very annoying. There are parts of the Ulm fight I was literally manually casting the spell because when I brewed down and then brewed back up, it turned off my auto cast. Horrendous, horrendous scenes. But it's okay. That was something I could deal with regardless. Something that I couldn't deal with was the fact that Midi came in on the normal spell book. Hmm, you fool, Midi. He realized like halfway through he brought runes to cast thralls and the grasp spells. Then realized he was on the normal spell book. Absolute clown. Genuine clown. And here was the moment earlier when he realized that. Because I have an I have a melee weapon. Spell book. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, it doesn't actually matter. It doesn't matter. What um yeah. what spells can you cast with the runes you brought? Oh, I probably can't cast any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could cast level four in chant. <laughs> oh fuck okay, hang on. No, we can fix this. Because you brought a earth staff, right? Uh yeah, no, I've got earth runes, yeah. Did you bring air runes? No. Fuck. Um... <laughs> oh, just die, you fucking guardian wanker. Yes, goodbye. Oh, okay, now we can just take on your one. Here's your midi. Oh. oh, come on. What the fuck? Surely. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit, I got hit with a boulder. There we go. Fucking hell. All right. It's in the bin. Give me those seeds. All right, mate, we are up to Ulm. Oh. Time to do bulk preparation. See you later, points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, we got up to 15.7k. That's pretty good. Mm. All right. That's great. Well done, mate. Okay, and so here are Midi and I. We've got our inventory packed full of stuff. As you can see, I had the Code Eye Potion, not the Overload. We're saving the Overloads for a bit later. We didn't know how the fight was going to go. I'm trying to explain the mechanics to him. Now, definitely, in the future, you don't have to comment below about the Overloads. I know about the Overloads now. I know I can make them, even at my level. But I am going to push so I can make the Medium Overloads with my Herb Law level. That's all going to be good. Anti-poisons as well. I know we don't necessarily need them, but it is good to, if I am having a good run and surviving for a while, to heal off that poison damage. The death piles, we aren't going for anything like that, where we stack up a bunch of potions on the ground in Olm's lair and then get the points back. We're not going for points right now. This was our very first attempt, and we're not really going for points in the future, not until we actually get good. After a death or so at the start, we went back in and started attacking the hand again. Wasn't doing too badly, Midi was doing his bit on the melee hand, although it sometimes does curl up and you are unable to do damage to it. For those who aren't too familiar with Chambers of Zerek, if you would like a bit more information on different Ulm special attacks and things like that, happy to talk about that in the future. One of the things I didn't tell Midi about in the moment, there was just so much to tell him about, was Ulm special attacks where he fires a different coloured sphere of energy at you, and you have to pray according to that. Now what we'll see coming up here, we can see that Midi's out of the room at the moment and I'm just doing my best to try and manually cast Fire Wave on the hand. Midi was saying that his laptop was freezing. And we know that Midi has a terrible laptop. We absolutely know that his laptop is dog shit. And we see in the top left there that his points 
disappear and the total points become equal to Gim Schooner's points. We play around with the raiding party, Mitty tries to get back in and he is unable to get back in. Heartbreak. Genuine heartbreak. F's in the comments for Mitty. F's in the comments for me. We were over two hours into the raid and Mitty's dishwasher of a laptop has cost us our first raid completion. We had the supplies. I gave it a go to do it by myself and I did a pretty good job. I got through a fair bit of the solo, but it was a two man scaled Olm at this point, much stronger than I had anticipated. As I said, I'm not the best at raids to begin with. I got through the first phase, as you can see here. Funk. Yes, okay. Uh, yeah. I got through the second phase, as you can see here. Yes. yes! In the third phase, you have to kill the melee hand and the mage hand within a short time period. I finally do enough damage to kill the melee hand. You can see I've got basically no points left because I've been dying deluxe to this boss. Especially without overloads, it made it very difficult. I then do this at the mage hand. Well, so it's on four. And seven on the other one. Go, 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 go. Fuck, it's on 20. Oh, come on, please, please, please. Please. Please, 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 please. No! Oh, you oh. fucking cunt. Are you serious? have never been more heartbroken in my life. I just walk around the room, let myself die because I genuinely couldn't handle it anymore. Look at the timer in the top left of the screen. Four hours. Go back and look at the timer when Midi was still alive, when I finished the first phase and when I finished the second phase. I don't know whether it was just fatigue or whether it was, it wasn't just the no overloads. It's because it was a two-man scaled Ulm. I couldn't handle it on my own with just a cudgel combat bracelet glory as my melee setup. I needed midi and also no thralls actually killed me. The thralls do bulk work at our level. They are absolutely required and not having them here was just a killer. So, so F's in the comments. Genuinely did not finish our first raid attempt. I wasn't meant to get one anyway. You know, midi leaving. When we start a duo together, we should finish a duo together. So leave a like on the video, comment, some support, have a laugh, just feel our pain with us. Unbelievable scenes. I wanted to edit this into a huge spectacle, but alas, I it's too painful to watch these clips back. Thanks for being along for the journey. It's been a long time. This is the ultimate goal of our account, to finish a duo together with just about gear. We are on the cusp. From there, we can only improve, get faster, get better, get stronger, and get a unique from Chambers of Zeric. How good.